Hey guys, uh, so I've done a bunch of posts in our group and I was talking to Tom today, our admin, and I actually want to take some time to show you the tanks that I have. Um, as well as some of the projects that I'm working on, I'm going to actually do a couple videos tonight. Um, first one I want to show you is actually the Blackwater tank behind me. And I'm going to so say sorry for the glare of these lights. Um, they work well for an office and for a fish tank room. Um, but they are former reptile lights um, that I've hung concealed. So, hey, they work. Um, right here is my Blackwater tank. And you can actually see I've got the Night Crew um, clip on light. It's a much smaller version of their standard light. Um, most of the lights that I use on my tanks are actually Night Crew brand. I really like them. They're low cost and they're good at what they do. Um, this actually does have a day and night function. And you can see that the tank is looking really murky. That is actually because I use this. It is Kent Marine. Let's get it a little closer. Kent Marine uh, Blackwater Expert. It works really well for creating blackwater tanks, which is where you want the tannins of the different woods and other things. There are other more ma more natural ways to create a blackwater tank. This is kind of a simple solution. I can do it with my water changes. I can just add it in when needed to darken up the tank appropriately. What I've got in this tank is actually three convict fish, a Raphael striped catfish, and a bristlenose pleco. I'm trying to replicate one of the more darker water areas that you may find fish in in the Amazon. So something like off to the side of the main river, like a tributary kind of area, almost mangrove style. And you can see that in this tank. You know, you've got a lot of branch work. I've got a cave, a rock cave down there. And I am running a Marineland biofilter that you can see here uh, with a bio wheel for this 29 gallon tank. Um, and you can actually see one of my convicts coming out to say hi. That is the female. Uh, there is a male and a baby convict in there as well. He was a, the baby was a free gift from my local fish store when I got the breeding pair of the male and female. They were pretty much for like, hey, we'll throw the baby in for free if you get these two. And I was like, well, I'm getting those two anyway, so that works for me. Now, in the bottom, I do have black sand, um, standard black aquarium sand. And... All of this wood from this tank is found reclaimed wood. It has been left out in the sun in the Las Vegas desert heat for a year, which is a great way to treat wood before you put it in the tank. In this area, with as arid and dry as it is, you could actually go with about six months. But that's one method. You can also bake the wood, you can submerge it, you can treat it. There's so many different ways to treat wood for aquarium use. Um, now, this is a great tank. I love it. It's really cool. The fish are very, very secure. They feel very safe and secure in it. You don't get a lot of jumping from them when you go near the tank because the water's dark enough they feel safe in there. And so that is a massive benefit to it. Um, with this tank, you know, if you've got any questions, send me a message. Um, I did try to do plants in this tank, and I tried to do the red, low light level plants, where they can be more beneficial for low light environments. However, my convict fish decided that no, I was not going to have a planted tank, and they firmly ripped all three of those plants out of the sand, at the roots, separating them from the roots, and shredded them across the tank. It was a very clear, clear message that they sent me. So that is my first tank that I wanted to show you.